Hi people, welcome back to the tutorial on how to hack Metasploitable 2. Another great episode, I'm very excited about it, I hope you are too. Today we're going to look at port 3306. Quick heads up, MySQL is an open source relational database management system with a client server model. MySQL, also known as MySQL, uh, you probably hear some people call it as that. It's one of the most used database that is being used by many applications today. So in a penetration test engagement, it's almost impossible not to find a system that will run a MySQL server. The likes of Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and so on, all use MySQL for data storage purposes. MySQL runs on ports 3306, which is the default port assigned by the internet, assigned numbers authority. However, most people don't usually stick to it in practice. Our methodology remains the same here as we're going to use the Metasploit framework to try and circumvent the weakness associated with this open port. So let's open a new tab with MSF console. Uh, before doing it, I hope that you've already started your PostgreSQL database. Um, okay, I've got it up and running here. And uh, let's bring up um, an auxiliary scanner to identify the version. And the auxiliary scanner is going to be uh, MySQL version. Let's try and find out what the options are. And when it's configuring, it's just a remote host. We run it. Okay, so um, essentially it confirms the finding of the host count we performed earlier. It, it doesn't do any harm um, to double check whether um, we, uh, we've got the right version uh, because we might need to match it with the right exploit. So it tells us that um, a version of MySQL here is 5.0.51a. Um, so um, well, if we stop here for one minute and ask the question as to what our aim is, uh, then there is a database server which is only accessible if you have the correct login, which it's assumed that we don't. So now the question is, how do you go about it? Well, there are many ways to do that, but we're going to be running a brute force by using another auxiliary scanner. So let's go. Let's go. That's the MySQL logging. And let's just find out what the options are, as always. Okay, um, there's quite a few configuration settings that we've got to complete. Um, but some will just be just uh, using a default one. So um, for the blank password, uh, we're going to leave it as true, um, sadly, because that's one of the vulnerability built into our target machine. And it tends to not use password in some scenarios. Um, we're going to set the remote host um, to, uh, remote, uh, to the remote IP address. So, so our port is already set correctly for us, 3306. Um, the stop on success, we leave it as false because we want to go through every single option. Um, username root, um, that's one of the default usernames, so we leave it as that. Um, Let's set the user file to the user list on now. And um, I think that's about that really. We leave the brute forces there. I mean, it's not, it's too high. It's, you know, in, 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 a, in a real life scenario, that will um, alert the intrusion detection systems and. So let's just run the, the, the exploit now, really. So, right. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, do, do, do. Right, okay. So um, we've, um, that was quite quick. So we've got one and a success here. So um, clearly uh, the username is root. Uh, that turned out to be a correct using, uh, a username. And uh, it's, it doesn't require a password. So 
There you are. So password is not actually required um, in this particular case. And uh, this is a consequence for MySQL not configured properly and that undermines the security of the whole network in general. Um, that's a very handy piece of information. So what do we do with it? So we will connect to the database using the MySQL function of Kali um, by defining the username and the host IP address. Um, the blank the password will be left blank as we've just discovered. So what we do now, let's bring up um, a terminal here and uh, type MySQL. And uh, so we're gonna use the username as root and then um, the host has the IP address of our vulnerable machine. So cool. Um, as you can actually see, we've got a MySQL shell um, that was that was quite straightforward. And so we can actually run queries such as um, show database. There you go. So um, it gives us um, um, a list of all the database um, in, in a server. So um, we can use one particular database here, say for example, um, which one we're gonna go for? So that is bright. Um, maybe MySQL. Right, so you can actually see it, it changed to um, to the database in 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 a query in a query here. So um, you can see show tables to see the tables built into that database. Um, you can see a list of table um, in, in that database. Um, you can use other commands such as describing a particular table. Uh, let's do that. Let's describe. What table here? Table host. Um, okay, let's describe host. I got so it gives us all, all the various inform information about our table in terms of columns and um, the, the characteristics of the columns and uh, whether they, they need characters or numbers and so on, or whether the, the, pri the primary key, uh, which are very, very useful information. So um, there are also of a function that you can actually just can you can if you're inclined to cause irreversible damage you can drop an important table name i don't condone it i don't recommend it so we can now exit the shell and uh, this brings us to the end of this tutorial so uh, thanks for watching and i see you next time